much. I introduce, of course, the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. And, and of course, most importantly, who he knows, and it's not a big deal, <laughs> baby dog. We are, we are so thankful that the governor has uh, come by to see us here. It is Music in Our Schools Month. So I'm going to give the governor a pin showing his support for music education in our schools. And he's going to give me a patch. I met baby dog. So, uh, but yesterday I was, uh, I was uh, very proud to present the governor with the President's Award of West Virginia Music Educator Association. So I'm very pleased that he was able to come and see you guys. But I'm going to give him a hand here, and then we're going to talk about our music proclamation. Okay. Can you give me up here for a word? How about that, baby doll? <laughs> Okay, now Baby Dog is really feeling good right now because on the way down here, we went through Wendy's and she got her some chicken nuggets. And she's on the same dietary program that I'm on. But <laughs> nevertheless, uh, listen, what you're doing is absolutely just it's revitalizing us, it is saving us, it is doing so many, so the, the adjectives just could go on and on and on. But truly, truly, you can't fathom how much it means to the state of West Virginia in every way that the great work that you do in the arts, the great work that you're doing in music, the great work that, all, that so many have done I tease Randall all the time and say, he's stuck on on all the time, and he is. They know. <laughs> but uh, I love people that are stuck on on. I would share with all the students, if you know people around you that are sticks in the mud, hope that somebody gets that stick and whacks them a few times. <laughs> Don't absolutely, in, in life, in real life, the people that are fired up, enthusiastic about what they're doing, have real passion about what they're doing, they're going somewhere. Those people that mope around all the time, I'd let them mope. But absolutely, I don't think many of y'all mope. And, and uh, I can never congratulate you, enough, congratulate you enough on your achievements and all the great stuff you're doing. And the fact that uh, now, it really kind of hurts my feelings that, you know, that I'm announced as a governor. The governor, for God's sakes, a living. And then baby dog, and all y'all go wild over the baby dog. I mean, the governor, okay, okay. And then they go crazy over you, don't they, baby? <laughs> well, listen. I mean this. I really mean it. I don't know that Baby Dog hadn't really saved my life because the last couple of years have been really, really tough. And when you're driving and you've got to read through people's names and all the stuff over and over and over, thousands and thousands of people that have died, and you know the pain and everything on those families and all the tough stuff that we've gone through, it's tough. And it gets really, it really wears on you. And then you know if you're driving and you just happen to have her with you, and you turn around and look and there she is laying there beside you, sometimes snoring, <laughs> a lot of times smiling. And really and truly, uh, you know what she does, and, I, and she does this, I say it over and over and over. She makes you smile, doesn't she? And you know what else she does? She loves every last one of you. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, black, white, Republican, Democrat, independent, doesn't matter what you are. She loves you. 
And that message we should always remember. If all of you had the opportunity to make people smile, and you do, you do with all the great work you do. And you'd really, truly, truly just take time to be sure that you love everybody. You know, that's really the message that absolutely could make us so much better in the world. I'd ask for your prayers for all those people in Ukraine. I mean, it's just uh, tough stuff, nasty stuff. And so, you know, to all of you that are out there, I've seen Jimmy over and over and over. I've just seen so many different things, so many different people here that have done incredible work. So I congratulate you, and I don't know what I've got here. What have I got here? Picture proclamation for music. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and if, if we could have our music in our schools month representative to come up. Miss Kathleen Tucker. Okay, listen up real quick. Okay, this is my third governor of four different administrations. And, and first baby dog. And oh, I love baby dog. <laughs> baby dog, sir. So, how many of you are familiar with the Save the Music program? Chio, you're around here somewhere, aren't you? Yes! So, uh, we've started the program before the governor came, but last year he gave me an extra $100,000 for packages. And he just gave me another $100,000 for packages. Thank you, Governor. Uh, many of you maybe heard the story when I got the phone call back in August 2020. Who said we can't have marching bands? <laughs> I said, well, I said, Governor, it's, you know, WSSAC. And he said, well, they didn't tell me. And he said, if we're going to have marching band, if we're going to have football, we're going to have marching band. <laughs> and the other lesson, and he taught me, which is so important these past few years, we're going to come out of this. And we need to make sure we have everything when we come out of it. So he created the Governor's, uh, Governor's Cup Series. How many of you participated in that this year? That we were able to get funding for bands. And you earned it. And he gave away a Governor's Cup. Tim James is back there. He was supposed to bring it to show you, Governor. But, you know, he won't, he won't let it out of the side. But nobody, nobody supports the arts than anybody I've ever worked for, and nobody loves kids the way Jim and Kathy Justice do. And I, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. You're amazing. These kids are so special, and you know that. Ladies and gentlemen, my governor, your governor, Jim Justice. Sit baby dog. Sit baby dog, they're clapping for me too. Now, look. This is a proclamation for me. A proclamation by Governor Jim Justice. Now beyond that, I can't see these words. <laughs> so, how about Randall read this to you and, and I'll follow up with my signature, but uh, I can get to whereas, but I can't get the rest of it. Kathy, did they introduce you? Okay. All right, here we go. Proclamation by Governor Jim Justice. Whereas, for more than 30 years, March has been officially designated by the National Association for Music Education, NAFME, as Music in Our Schools Month, encouraging communities across the nation to focus on music education. And whereas music education is part of a well-rounded education for every student as outlined in Every Student Succeeds Act, and whereas the purpose of this celebration is to raise awareness of the lasting positive impact of music education on the academic, personal, and professional growth of our students, and whereas music education shapes the way our students understand themselves and the world around them, allowing for a deep engagement with learning, and whereas Music in Our Schools Month reminds us that school is where all children should have access to music, and whereas music educators, students, and communities throughout West Virginia demonstrate the importance of quality music education programs to the lives of young people, and whereas the state of West Virginia joins our music, students, educators, and communities in celebrating the power of music 
music education. And as Randall teaches me all the time, God only made football so we could have a halftime show. Now therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Justice, the great governor of the great state of West Virginia, do hereby proclaim March 2022 as Music in Our Schools Month in the Mountain Stage and encourage all citizens to join me in this observance and celebrate to celebrate and acknowledge every day, but especially in March, that music education is an essential part of every student's well-rounded education in witness whereof. I have hereunto set my hand and caused the great seal of the state of West Virginia to be affixed, done at the capital city of Charleston, state of West Virginia, this 11th day of February in the year of our Lord, 2022, and in 159th year of the great state of West Virginia. You got it. <laughs> now, what's your name? What's your name? What? Tatum. 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 Can you come right over here and stand right beside me? Right Tatum. Back up here. Now put your arms around the baby. Okay, now Tatum. Tatum, last thing. Okay, now Tatum is going to end this up with my signature right here, okay? All right, Tatum, you do it. Jim Justice Governor. <laughs> okay. Good job. Now Randall is right about this. I really do love kids. And I absolutely just think they're the greatest of the greatest, and I really sincerely mean this. All of you that are here, parents, educators, all of you that are here that absolutely have an impact on these children, I thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Just keep doing it because they are absolutely everything to us. So thank you again.